somewhere in the tropical jungles of Costa Rica, you'll find a charming beach town by the name of Santa Teresa. Sitting atop its lush and green mountains is Villa Sheffa, a luxury holiday villa with breathtaking ocean views. What's up guys? Welcome to another international property tour. Villa Sheffer has been nothing short of amazing. The indoor outdoor living, the outdoor pool, the sunsets, all things I connect with. But it's not just a luxury villa, it's an experience. There's a personal concierge service that attends to every need that you possibly can have, whether it's booking a restaurant or an activity like fishing, ATVing, horseback riding, you name it. There's daily housekeeping that comes in and makes sure that the property is in pristine condition. You get fresh towels every day. There's a gardener that attends to all the landscaping, makes sure that the pool is full and ready for you to dive right in. And as a added bonus, you also get a chef service. So they attend to any kind of dietary requirements that you may have in the case that you don't wanna go into town. You just wanna stay here, fully utilize the property, which I mean, once you see it, you'll understand why and just enjoy your time here because at the end of the day, it is a vacation. Now I could keep on rambling, but rather than me keep carrying on, let's, let's go inside and let me show you what I'm talking about. Welcome to paradise. This is exactly what I mean. It's so open and airy that in a sense, you feel like it's home away from home. And also one with nature, especially with this uh, earthy neutral color palette. You've got the gray tile floors, the micro cement walls, the pine ceiling, and uh, to kind of like round out that feel, this indoor garden that connects you with the landscape. But it's all about that indoor outdoor living, which we all appreciate on vacation. So you've got these sliding glass doors over here that open fully on both sides. So you get fresh air, views on views, landscape, ocean, but we won't cover that just yet. Over here is the kitchen. It's a generous size. You've got everything you need. It's fully equipped. So whether you choose to opt for the chef service or you wanna stay in and cook, You've got everything you need from stainless steel appliances to pots, pans, cutlery, um, glassware, so forth. I personally wanted to experience the local flavors and restaurants in town, so I didn't use this kitchen too much, but what I did do was grab some bread from the bakery. I brought it back, I used, uh, I toasted it in the oven. I had it with some oil as a midday snack. I really appreciated this espresso machine, which um, housekeeping keep fully stocked with the pods. It's super smooth. Now, in terms of my diet, I don't recommend this for everyone, but what I choose to do is have a fridge stocked with water, alcohol, uh, grapes and watermelon and what I also picked up were some uh, I was gonna say Cuban cigars some Costa Rican cigars and the reason why I thought of Cuba was they're actually just as smooth smooth as them so if you're into that I would recommend now it's a tropical environment it's gonna be really hot you're gonna need a lot of ice and there's a pantry that actually has two more fridges and freezers so you can have a ton of ice, some more items stocked in there to keep you hydrated. There's a counter space as well as a sink and small appliances for you to use. This is a three bedroom villa so as one would expect you'd be sharing the space with family or friends and you're going to need a place to sit down and eat. And this dining space is perfect for that. You've got plenty of um, space to seat 
10 people. A beautiful straw light fixture to create that ambient at night. Over here is a bookcase. You've got books, you've got games to keep that entertainment going. It's also connected to the outdoor space in a way because when you keep these sliding doors open, the breeze comes in, you feel really connected. Over here is your lounging area when you want to kick back, maybe watch some TV. There is uh, Wi-Fi and internet throughout the home. Again, you'll probably want to keep everything open, but if you do overheat, some ventilation that the floor offers are ceiling fans throughout, as well as AC throughout the home. Now, personally, I'm from Australia and I love the heat, the humidity. My hair may not enjoy it as much, but that's another story. Now, if you do want to uh, experience the breeze at night, but you don't want to experience the bugs and mosquitoes, there are these sliding nets that do come out and uh, keep you protected. Now, as I mentioned, it's all about that indoor outdoor living and with all the eating and drinking, nature will call. And there is a bathroom that offers that indoor outdoor living as well. So you've got your washlet, your vanity, but what I really love is this shower. It looks like there's nothing above the uh, rainfall shower, but it's actually a glass that protects you from the elements. There's um, an open window with protective netting, so no bugs or mosquitoes will come in, but you do feel like you're outside when you're in this space. Pebbles surrounding a concrete slab, it's very earthy. Again, you're really connected to nature. So from here, there's a door over here that actually opens onto the front. So you really have two entrances into this home. And over here is your staircase that leads up to the bedroom. As you can see, it's made of concrete with uh, wood runners and railings. So again, keeps you connected to nature. It's very earthy. We're gonna go upstairs and cover the bedrooms now and get back to the best part, which is the outdoor space later. So follow me up. So second floor, as I mentioned earlier, this is a three bedroom villa, including the master, and they all come with AC, blackout blinds, but most importantly, the most stunning views of the ocean. So you can rest assured that your sleep will be pretty relaxed at night. The only choice that you'll have to make is whether you want the blackout blinds down or you wanna wake up to the views of the ocean. So. Personally, I chose the ocean, but that's on you. Now, two of the bedrooms actually share this bathroom over here. It's a three-piece bath with a washlet, a concrete vanity, as well as a standalone soaker tub. You've got high ceilings, a window up top to let in an, uh, a lot of natural light, beautiful hexagonal uh, tiles throughout. Um, and then as we walk out into this Nook space, nook area, you've got two chairs to just unwind, maybe read a book. You can open the windows up, let in that breeze. The ceiling fan will help with that extra ventilation, of course. That earthy feel continues here with the micro cement walls. A skylight lets in a ton of natural light with the, the slatted wood to create that bohemian feel, especially with this straw chandelier up here as well. And from here, it leads to the master. So let's go check that out. The master is quite spacious, but two things stand out. The first of which is the bed being positioned in the center of the room rather than up against the wall, and it's oriented towards the windows. And the second of which are these oversized picture windows on either side that offer endless views of the ocean and landscape. So as you can imagine, waking up to these views in the morning is quite magical, but at night it's Pretty awesome too, especially with the stars out. Behind the bed, you've got this workstation. Obviously work is not uh, recommended on vacation, but sometimes you need to get those things done as well. There's a chase in this corner here for that extra privacy. Maybe you want some alone time from the group gatherings outside. Through these French doors is your four piece spa like ensuite. So you've got concrete his and hers custom vanities, a rainfall shower with windows at the right height so that you can have a view while you have the shower. Maybe you want to have the window open at the same time. 
feel connected to the outside. Extra high ceilings, you've got a window that lets in a ton of natural light. You've got a washlet. And then through this door is your walk-in closet. So as you can see, plenty of storage options as well as a safe to house your valuables. So as you can imagine, this is the most wanted room in the home. So if you're booking a stay at this villa, make sure you call dibs on this space. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I've left the best for last, which is the tropical outdoor oasis. And I cannot wait to show you, so follow me. Your journey to the outdoor oasis starts here and this is really where you step into paradise. There's a corner sectional over here that's a little low but don't be fooled it's actually one of the most comfortable sectionals i've sat on and it's actually really well positioned so that you can see what's going on on this outdoor space over this way are two of my favorite outdoor furniture pieces the first being this swinging hammock which i've spent quite a bit of time on especially in the afternoons when the sun sets and secondly these beanbag lounges they are so comfortable you'll probably fall asleep in them over this way is a little breakfast nook. This is where I would have a coffee in the morning, maybe a breakfast bowl. There's a ceiling fan for the extra ventilation. As you can see, this entire area is protected. So if you want to take a break from the sun, maybe protect yourself from the sun showers, you can do so under here, but we all love a little bit of vitamin D. So, Stepping outside under the sun is where you want to be and the pool is actually where I've spent most of my time. It's refreshing, it's turquoise blue. At night actually this place truly transforms to be an outdoor oasis so it's not just a place that you want to spend in the day. You've got this beautiful green lush vegetation, it just is very fitting with the landscape that surrounds it. It creates that sense of privacy. Once you're done with the pool, you can come out, you can rinse off. There's an outdoor shower. There's more uh, lounging beds for that extra tanning because you don't want to go home without a tan, of course. And then over this way is a gazebo. So if you, again, want to stay in and you want a barbecue, you've got a propane barbecue for that. And that pretty much covers the outdoor space. This is essentially where you will spend 95% of your time. It's one of the most amazing outdoor spaces that I've come to experience. And I know that when it comes time to you booking your group bookings with family and friends, you will probably be doing that too. So make sure to look this place up and uh, visit the villa as soon as you can. And that's pretty much Villa Chef up. But before I let you go, if you're a foodie as much as I am, here are my top recommendations. Start the morning off with some freshly baked goods, perhaps a light breakfast at the bakery. In the afternoon, you'll want to see the sunset. So if you're not at the villa, you'll be hitting El Carmen or Banana Beach. Now, El Carmen have great fish tacos, so make sure you try those. Banana Beach have great food options as well. I personally had a beef burger, which was epic. As you stay later into the evening, it transforms into live entertainment with a DJ. It's quite amazing and immersive. Both places, amazing, amazing sunsets. Now, if you're looking for a more elevated experience, head over to Katana for some Asian fusion, or if you want that beachside, bohemian kind of dinner nectar is the place to be if I've managed to make you fall in love with this place as much as I have make sure you click the link above or in the description to book your stay at Villa Sheffa and when you do make sure you tell Serena who will be your personal concierge that Diana referred you when you do book your stay, make sure you also book an ATV or an SUV as the drive up can be a little bit treacherous. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on socials and check out my Amazon store for must have household items. And on that note, I'll see you in the next one.